look on Google, for example, and you, you type in Nike logo tattoo, Apple logo tattoo, guarantee you there's no one within the organization that has actually tattooed the brand on their body, yet the consumers have. So what does that tell you? You're not going to tell them what the meaning of that tattoo is. They have it pretty much embedded in their mind. It's helped define them. And the role that brands play in people's lives is very different than it was, say, 100 years ago or even 200 years ago, which was, how did we define ourselves as people? It was our community. It was our church. It was our, the, the business we slaved at for you know, 12, 18 hours a day. Now, people complete their identities through the brands they consume. And once self-identity becomes a factor in consumption, you are now in the position of having to tell someone that the way they've defined themselves is not what they think. That's not a role a company is ever going to be able to play a part in. So in this world of the brand enforcer, once you realize you have a population of people who are willing to tattoo their brand on their arm, you suddenly realize where the, uh, the stakeholder in the, the real stakeholder in this brand meaning is located, and that's the consumer. Thank you.